This is Microsoft Office 365. No matter what word processing program you're using, you'll do all the same things, just click in different places. Before you do anything to your document, you have to double space it. So here is my blank document where I'm going to tell it to double space. And I'm not an expert with Office 365, so I will probably goof up a lot. But here I went to line spacing, double. Okay, so that's your first step. Next, you need to choose your font and size. Now I suggest Courier or Times Roman because they're bigger and because MLA likes them better. And I'm going to choose Courier so I don't have to go through all the way down to the T. It's either Courier or Courier New. It doesn't matter which. And then 12 point font. Now I'm going to insert a header. So here I'm going to put my header, which will be my last name, and the page number. Okay. Now it's not in the right position. I'm sure there's some way that you can make it get in the right position, but I just tab it over or space it over. Now that should be courier, but it doesn't look like courier to me. No, so I'm going to have to turn it to courier again. I know, just one thing after another, setting these things up, but it's what you have to do. And I'm sure you all will be able to do it easier than I am. Oh, and then I have to move it back over again. Well, you can see that I need to learn a lot, too. Okay, now I'm going to get out of the header program. And now I'm going to put in my head ing. We did head er, now we're doing head ing. And you see, I have to fix my bad typing. can't even type my own name. And then here's one where a lot of people make errors. The dates are written differently than you're used to. So put the day and then the month and then the year. Now next you're going to put the title of your essay. There will be no extra spaces. It may look crowded. You're going to center it. And then you have to go, wait, I have to make capital T because I'm trying to do the title right. And then you'll have to go back to this. C. 
So this may look crowded to you if you're a design person, art person, but this is the way it should be. Double space, nothing extra. And that's how you set up your paper. And this is what all your paper should look like. But please don't use my name. Use your own name. Now, I want to show you something. This is why I chose to do this in Microsoft Office and not Google or Pages. You don't want to add any spaces before or after the paragraph. Now, if you're using an older Microsoft Word, there's a box you click because you don't want any extra spaces. If you have any extra, any questions, either send me a text by pronto, email me, or come to office hours. <laughs>